Welcome to Hotel Tech Talk. In today's episode, I'm very happy to introduce a new friend of mine, Praveen Kanyadi. He's a co-founder of uh, and uh, vice president of products for SpotQs based in uh, California. And uh, let me bring him on to the to the screen now. Hello, Praveen, and welcome. Hello, Sam. Uh, thanks for inviting me today. And uh, hello, everyone uh, who's watching this. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's great to connect with you. I mean, we are about 8,000 kilometers apart uh, uh, between us. So, uh, but uh, through this uh, digital wonders, we're able to talk, uh, have a discussion on this time. And uh, I'm particularly keen because we have now a chance to explore the kind of technology that uh, as basically a co-founder and, and a vice president of products you are representing. So, uh, so let's start. Could you share with the, with us about uh, what is spot queues about and what does spot queues mean and how does it what kind of services you're providing for the hotel industry right so um the first thing about you know what does spot queues mean we when we started out um we actually thought about uh, if you look at the english meaning of the word queues it's really about providing clues to um, people now when we started out, what we wanted to do is, um, at any location, being able to provide the right kind of contextual information to customers. Um, so in a retail setup, you know, when a customer walks in, being able to find, you know, what to find in an aisle. In a hospitality setup, when a guest walks into the resort, being able to find everything that is there in the resort, stuff that you can do, make reservations, all of that. So that was the idea behind the name Spot Cues. Um, now, as far as what SpotQ's platform does, SpotQ's is essentially a mobile communication and engagement platform. What we're trying to do is help industries such as hospitality, retail, leverage mobile as a channel to engage the guests, to personalize their experience, and most importantly, provide a completely self-served experience for the guests. Well, thank you, Praveen. Uh... What I'm interested to know is that, and I'm also asked by many uh, hotels, what is the uh, problem you are looking at solving for the customer and for the hotel with this uh, service that you are providing? Right. Thank you. So there are a few different things that uh, we're trying to address for the hospitality industry. The first thing is the consumer and industry trend. So if you look at, uh, uh, let me take retail as an analogy. When we started out, uh, retail was all about brick and mortar stores. But then e-commerce took over because consumers prefer convenience. Consumers prefer to do everything online rather than actually walk into the store. Now what you see is that traditional brick and mortar stores also have an e-commerce presence. If you look at um, the hospitality industry itself, if you look at online reservations, pretty much every hotel out there has an online presence, you know, either through OTA or their own booking engine. So essentially, every industry has to adapt to consumer and, uh, you know, behavior and trends. Now, one of the most important consumer trends in the hospitality industry has been the growth of mobile as a channel. Now, I have some statistics pulled up here um, for reference. If you look at a uh, survey, almost 55% of uh, you know users are using mobile to do things like checking in, 44% plan the trip, 72% book reservations, 67 persons are looking up for entertainment option. So essentially, mobile is now becoming one of the most important channels to uh, you know, to connect and engage with your guests. So the first problem that we're trying to address here is that we're helping you leverage mobile as a channel to address. The second thing is enhancing guest experience. Now, guest experience is a combination of a variety of different things. You know, there are aspects of communication. There is how you can, you know, make things convenient for them. Uh, what what are your touch points? So, uh, the second aspect that we provide uh, or we're looking to solve is 
how can you leverage mobile as a channel to elevate your guest experience the third important aspect is deep insights now if you look at the hospitality industry currently uh, customer information is you know sort of uh, spread out across your pos system your pms systems all of that now hospitality has always been about high touch model where you know the guests come in it's all personalized high touch which is very important but at the same time it's also important to capture their behaviors understanding consumer behaviors understanding their preferences and using all of that to personalize so the third aspect that we're trying to help industries is that moving uh, being able to capture the customers preferences behavior all of that and leveraging that to personalize the experience and the fourth important aspect that we're trying to address is how do you leverage technology to reduce this the workload on staff if you look today um, to you know as as your number of guests grow the the amount of impact on the staff in to help them personalize take care of their uh, requests that grows up too so as you know as something that uh, perhaps i could show you in the demo is you know how do you actually you know how we put some of these things into play where we've been able to reduce the work staff you know the the workload of the staff so these are sort of the four uh, broader challenges that we're trying to solve sam excellent okay this is very very good uh, uh, what you're now uh, sharing with us and it's very 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 clear and um, you already have experience with uh, hotels and resorts uh, who are has subscribed to these services uh, for what kind of hotels is this a suitable service is there any difference whether it's a urban location city home business hotel or or a resort in my opinion uh, this technology uh, is actually applicable for uh, everybody from right from uh, you know a boutique hotel uh, to a large chain uh, to you know small uh, hotels as well uh, and the reason is that um, if you look at uh, it's it's the same as the online reservation uh, pretty much every hotel large chains to small chains are offering online reservation and this experience of being able to you know uh, the convenience of being able to request for uh, you know uh, make a concierge request or make reservations from the phone i think that as a trend is applicable across it cuts across all kinds of hotels very interesting now uh, let's say i am the owner of a, a 60 room hotel and uh, i have been based having my uh, my system very very personalized very basic but and i, I have seen your presentation now uh, this setting up or linking into these services uh, how complicated is it for for me as a hotel owner right so there are it can it can uh, the complexity can vary based on the property management systems that you have uh, so uh, there are a lot of property management system the top the uh, the major property management systems Uh, they have opened up their APIs, uh, which makes it easy for uh, you know systems like us to actually sit on top of them, talk to these systems, and personalize the experience. Uh, for some of them, for which there are no uh, existing APIs, they are not open. Uh, it can be a little bit more complex. The yeah. other complexity is uh, a lot of these hotels have on-premise systems, which don't even talk to systems outside. uh there the complexity might be a little bit uh, more uh but at the end of the day uh, all of these are solvable problems very good now is this a subscription based services or do you actually buy a, a software how how is that pricing model you have so it is uh, essentially a uh, you know a subscription based model um so essentially what you get uh, you get a mobile app uh that is downloaded by your guest it is branded as your hotel it connects to your property management systems to do things like which i'm going to show in the demo uh but uh, it is uh, typically hotels pay a monthly subscription fee uh for having their own branded mobile app the first thing i want to show you is the you know it is the communication uh, piece of it uh 
I'll come to that later. But when I click on the menu, I see there are a bunch of things that I can do. I can sign up for an activity. I can sign up for a golfing for uh, guests to download uh, the mobile app. Uh, there, is, there needs to be commitment, uh, and there needs to be a proper strategy uh, in place uh, to to make sure that the guests are, you know, there are the right promotions in place. Um, uh, there's a well thought out strategy in terms of, you know, how to get uh, the guests to download the app and, you know, make use of these uh, services. Uh, so it requires a certain level of preparedness from the organization. Uh, and then, you know, unless you're fully committed to it, um, you know, we've seen that that can also be a point of friction. Yeah, I can understand that. Now, considering the case of this resort that you mentioned, the sample, uh, uh, from the moment they uh, agreed to buy into your services, how long did it take for them to, so they could implement the service in, 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 in this capacity as it is, uh, as you showed it? Right. Uh, and frankly speaking, I've just shown you just a, uh, just a very small uh, aspect of it. There is the whole concierge bot and there are, there are, you know, there are several of those things. Uh, so the entire experience, uh, it took us about um, six months uh, from the time we started the project uh, all the way till end. Uh, it took us about um, three months to actually build the end-to-end -end solution. Um, then we spent about a month uh, doing, uh, making sure that, you know, the staff and everybody, uh, the the experience that I didn't show you was an automated concierge bot, yeah. where you could actually make a request for towel, you could make a request for coffee, and all of that system. So this, so this property, our customer spent about a month doing some dry runs. They wanted to make uh, sure that absolutely everything is working flawlessly, you know, uh, and not just the system, but also the backend operations, that people are aware of an app like this, how it is going to play out, is there going to be any changes? What we realized was that in reality, it did not change any of the downstream processes. Okay. If anything, we actually improved and streamlined the operation, we increased the visibility. Um, so that took about a month, uh, and then we, you know, uh, they spent about a month in making sure that they had all the right promotions in place. Uh, they had uh, educated the staff about, you know, every time you meet a guest to tell them that, you know, we have a great mobile app and, you know, you can make all your reservations from the phone, uh, take care of that. Uh, so all of that took about a month uh, and then, you know, the actual rollout. So um, when I say six months, it's uh, not as much the time for the development but making sure that all the processes were laid out, you know, they were trained, um, there was awareness and all of that stuff. And uh, the end result was that we've already seen that 25% of the calls to the front desk, we've, you know, it's uh, in within six months, you've taken away 25% of the workload from the, uh, the, uh, the front desk. Um, most of the, uh, and about 60% of all the reservation for activities such as golf, now happens through the app. Okay. So, uh, you know, people uh, love the fact that, you know, they, they don't have to wait uh, and speak to anyone to make these reservations, whether it is reservation for activities, for golf, uh, placing a coffee, all of that. So. Uh, Very good. Yeah, I, I think I can see that uh, I opened several hotels uh, and uh, it, it kind of in my mind when I was listening to you, explaining this it is to me like a pre-opening period of opening a new hotel but in fact uh, in in most cases it's already a, a functioning hotel that uh, they need to be able to while the hotel is in operation able to then to put in a new system and there's a right. little bit of shift in the culture change to get the staff on board uh, get the customers convinced to to download the app uh, but i think it's a great uh, from the look of it it's, it's a really a great product and uh, uh, it's very interesting to see how how, how you're expanding with this uh, on on a worldwide basis. But I'm interested to know since you are already you are uh, you have co-founder and you know you have been part of I'm sure developing this product with in conjunction with the uh, with the industry. Where do you see the where do you see if you look we take a look at the crystal ball? Uh, how do you see things happening now for the next ten years in in in, the, in your industry? 
uh, is there a time when uh, what we what we know as a device as a telephone or mobile phone will not exist anymore there's something else or where do you see uh, things moving uh, from your point of view right uh, i think uh it's, it is a very interesting time, uh, and I think the one area that is going to redefine hospitality uh, is IoT. Uh, at least here in the U.S., you would see that even small hotels uh, to large size, mid-size hotels, are now having a lot of devices, voice-enabled devices. You see pretty much everybody's house, you know, you see that uh, there is Alexa or there is Google Home, you know, these kind of things. So what we're going to see is more and more connected devices. Uh, we've already seen with, uh, there is a very popular messaging app called WeChat in China. Uh, and I was amazed. Uh, I was in China and, you know, I, you know, I was able to use the WeChat app to control the blinds, control the lights in the room. Uh, now, that might sound very fancy right now. Uh, and only the large chains have it. Um, most of the device manufacturers now, which supply to these hospitality vendors, even the small ones, are now coming equipped with voice support, uh, all of that. So one of the major changes that you're going to see uh, in the next, uh, not even 10 years, I think five years from now, uh, is essentially uh, the interconnected devices where, you know, you can talk to devices and the devices will do what you say, uh, you know, whether it's taking orders, all of that. And I think mobile is going to play the biggest role. Excellent. It's going to become central to the entire strategy uh, devices, all of them talking to each other. Mm. Uh, and you'll also see a lot of uh, AI and machine learning coming to fore. Yes. Uh, uh, so we've already seen uh, Avian Ambro, uh, you know, um, we've, uh, we've seen how uh, Airbnb, for instance, uh, has uh, leveraged uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence uh, to do a lot of forecasting and, you know, pricing and those kind of things. Uh, I think you'll see more and more of that uh, coming in. Um, I talked about the customer bot. I think um, the the uh, customer service uh, industry is already uh, leveraging machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence in a big way, and I see that coming in for the hospitality industry as well. Yeah. So I, I think. So overall, I I mean you know I, I think uh, IoT, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning. I think these are some of the things. Uh, that is going to retransform the hospitality uh, industry. Praveen, thank you very much for, for your insight on this fascinating uh, uh, service that you're providing. But I'm interested to know a little bit about you. Uh, tell me something that is true that almost nobody agree with you on. I tell people that uh, in a few years from now, people will stop to exist physically. When I say that everything is turning virtual, relationships are turning virtual um, you know we talk about technology i'm focused on technology uh, we're talking virtually to each other you know you at the start of the conversation you mentioned 8000 kilometers far and yet uh, we're talking to each other but the flip side of that is that you know people are uh, you know all the relationship are getting virtual uh, we don't spend enough time sitting and talking to each other uh, enjoying nature uh, you know uh, I see kids, my own kids, you know, uh, being hooked on to, you know, gadgets and devices, uh, screen time. Uh, I think uh, that's in, uh, it's reaching epidemic uh, proportions. Um, and that's where I, I make the statement that at some point, you know, you will not even uh, know that, you know, it's a neighbor. Uh, you know, everybody would just be known by their virtual uh, identities, which I think is a serious concern. Yeah, so everybody's like an avatar rather than a real person. It's a, that's that's yeah. that's exactly you nailed yeah. it. Well, that's, that's a great uh, uh, great. That's a discussion we could have another episode on. I, I think. <laughs> but now I know that you are from uh, you're originally from from India, from Mumbai area. You mentioned earlier, and now you you live in or your work is close to Cupertino. You know the heart of a lot of the tech industry. So uh, exactly. I'm a foodie. I love food. So I have a very short question and I just need to get your feedback on this. Gourmet food or street food? Street food, any day. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's your favorite? So I love uh, street tacos, uh, you know, especially here uh, in California. Um, you know, Mexican food is amazing. Uh, and, you know, I like the tacos. They make, uh, you know, these food trucks that we have. Mm. Uh, I just absolutely go and binge on tacos. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, and actually I like all kinds of cuisine but taco uh, you know tacos are my favorite is there any dish that is from your hometown which you you miss and uh, uh, if you had a desire that you can get it on the spot what would be that be uh, it's uh, it's uh, something called as a vada pav which is kind of a indian burger of sorts um, and the place that i come from mumbai is famous for it uh, and it is something that i could have for breakfast dinner lunch uh, pretty much any meal of the day uh, and i wish you know i could get that here oh sounds good i love to try it one of these days yeah of course you should and what is your favorite uh, noise or sound that you love uh the sound of uh, you know the uh, the waves uh, uh, when i go to the beach uh, and you know the waves coming onto the shore uh, i think um, it has a very calming effect on me yes you know, it, yeah. well that's as uh, me also well, on that note praveen i think i'd like to thank you very much for this discu- for discussion as for sharing with us your views and and your very interesting uh, tech app and uh, i will put into the notes of this broadcast how they can reach you and for the hotels if you like to have a deeper discussion how you can be of service so thank you very much ken and i really appreciate that you took the time uh, to discuss here on the hotel tech talk thank you uh, for providing me this opportunity to come here have a chat with you and uh, you know showcase our product uh, and this very interesting conversation uh, deeply appreciated thank you